Okay, this is a quick video to get acquainted with my boat and how to start it and whatnot. So first thing that you're gonna wanna do, very first thing is come back here to the captain's seat and you're gonna pull out the drain plug and uh, this wrench to screw it in. And you just screw that into the, to the very back of the boat. And um, that's the very, very first thing. Make sure that it's in nice and tight because you don't want to sink to the bottom. Okay, now what you do is you open up this back thing and here's your engine. I've got like some fishing gear, a bunch of miscellaneous knickknacks and odds and ends. And you're gonna need to turn on the battery. So I got this rigged with two batteries so you have a backup. And then this switch right here, you can select um, if you want the first battery or the second battery or having both of them in tandem helping you out. So I'm just gonna go to uh, number one to start it. And from here, Um, it's a good idea to turn the blower on and that'll get rid of any exhaust gases and whatnot. And then here on the throttle quadrant, you'll see this button right here that if you need, what you can do is you can push that and then simultaneously pull up on this red thing. And what it'll do is it'll make it so you can do a little bit of gas and still be in neutral. So. Let me see if I can demonstrate and hold the hold the phone at the same time. I might not be able to. But you push that in and then pull up with that red handle. And then you can put it forward slightly to help you get it started. But anyway, I'll go ahead and crank it. Ooh la la. It's starting just great. So... Now, when you pull it back into neutral, it'll click. And then if, if you're to lift up on this red section and go forward, now your propeller is gonna, gonna spin. So this, this is just uh, to help you get it started. This trim button on the side will trim the motor down and up. So, and then if you wanna um, put it on the trailer when you're done with it that's you need to do this red button right here and push that in and that'll that'll trailer it all the way up so that's probably the uh, the main thing there with getting it started um, and then obviously you could use that backup battery if you needed as well um, some other things that are good to know about this boat. Um, underneath this cushion is a cooler so you can put ice and drinks and stuff like that. Um, under this cushion are a bunch of life jackets and also some uh, a set of snorkel gear if, uh, if you ever needed. Like suppose you get your tow rope tangled around the prop. Um, you've got that snorkel so you can see what you're doing. Um, underneath this cushion, you've got all kinds of little knickknacks, um, some miscellaneous things. If, if you need something, hopefully it's, it's in there. Um, and some more life jackets and stuff like that. Your tow rope and... Uh, a bunch of tow stuff is right there and on this side um, there's a knee board also got a slalom ski and a couple of water skis right there but right here is if you need to blow something up um, there's your there's your flag if you're towing anyone and then if you need to blow up any kind of uh, um, you know little towables or something like that, then there's your, there's your pump. Um, what else? In the glove box, 
is I bought a season pass for the for the marina. So that's good all the way through December. And then the boat registration, an extra set of keys, um, just some miscellaneous knickknacks. And I think that is the majority of it. So um, yeah, let me know if you got, have any questions and I'll make another video or put some comments or something like that. But oh, and under here is the anchor. If you need the anchor and uh, um, just more miscellaneous stuff. So, but that's my boat.